Greetings fellow conspirators, Mortars Veil vale here, and today we are back playing some more Crack Pack. Now last time, if you'll remember, we went to the Twilight Forest and had quite the adventure slaying these bosses, the Naga, the Urgast, and the Hydra. And the only one that we didn't get was the Lich, and I want to get him this episode. So we are going back to the Twilight, but that's not all we're doing. Um, but just for that, I did make this golden bag of holding called Loot, and in it I have a whole bunch of Safari Nets and a Safari Net Launcher. I also have my primal staff, which I can put this dislocation wand focus on, and then I can take spawners. So actually, I can only take one at a time. If I made another dislocation focus, I could take more than one, but one will be fine. Um, so spawners, lich, and some of the cool mobs that we find in the twilight. That is our goal. We're going to the twilight today. But before we do that, we have a couple of things that we want to take a look at. Let's see here. No. Here, no. Here, yes. And here, yes. So I have redone this, um, this arcane infusion altar. I took away all the things that I think were blocking the Ascentra from up here. Um, made, re, re um, I guess, what's the word, distilled? I guess it is kind of like a distillery. I distilled all of the Ascentra again and have everything that I need, I believe. I have all the items. And I think we're ready to go, so... We'll go ahead and hit it, and we'll kind of stick around here again and double check because last time we did have quite the problem with flux, but this time it seems like it's going a lot better because last time we had these glass barriers with mob skulls on them in the way, so the Essentia seemed like it kind of got stuck on it, and that was probably not the best thing. But this time, it seems like the Essentia is going in fine. So what are we making again? We are making the I Awakened? Yeah, Awakened Ikorium Shovel. So we'll grab our Thomblin Omblicon and take a look at it. Right here, we have the Awakened Ikorium Tools. And this one is the Awakened Ikorium Shovel. Uh, it's basically like the pick, so it can either break no one block, it can either break a 5x5, five five, or it can break a column of blocks. So it's a really cool and powerful tool, and it, it'll definitely replace the shovel of the earth mover because it digs a 5x5, five five, and it's also unbreakable. So pretty cool tool, if I do say so myself. Actually, I think that these Ikorium tools could probably compete with the Tinker's Construct tools, to be, to be quite honest, because like a 5x5 five five is larger than an area that an excavator will remove, um, and it's also unbreakable. So, like, but you can't put auto smelt or anything like that on it. So it's it's got less utility, but probably more power, I guess, if that makes sense to anyone. But anyway, oh, uh oh, that was flux taint, I believe. Um, that's not a good sign. I think that's actually where it started going wrong last time, was when um, we got some flux taint in there. So <laughs> I'm feeling a lot more nervous than I was a second ago. I thought I added some more mob skulls, so I thought things would be good, but it's possible that we could be experiencing a bit of a problem here. But I do want to see... We doing? Okay, we took all the essentials, now it should be taking the items, yep. The Ikorium, the Iker, the Shovel of the Earth Mover, and then it'll just go around the circle clockwise here. And it's definitely having much less of a problem than it did last time. Last time things were popping off the... Uh-oh, oh. oh. Oh, oh, come on. Please, please don't do this again. No, no, stay on there. Oh, man. Okay, come on. Just take it, take it. Yes, it's taking it. And it's taking that. Okay, it worked. <laughs> um, barely. It, it barely worked, but it worked, nonetheless, so I'm happy. Cool, so what do we have? Awakened Icorium Shovel in block mode. So, I actually already made one, so let's go ahead and hop up here. Rotten Flesh. Zombies, this is one problem with this design, is zombies that are tracking me, they'll like come from up here, they'll fall, they'll take fall damage onto here, then they'll fall, take more fall damage. But like if I'm down here, sometimes they can survive enough to get me if they have like good armor or feather falling, I guess, on their boots or something like that. Um, so that's, that might be a problem. But that's okay. Anyways, uh, let's grab a Soulbound book, and we will call this, um, I don't know, 
Veils, power, shovel. Now I'm calling these I'm calling these power tools because they actually can I put efficiency? I don't think I have enough levels to do that, do I? Oh, I need ten. Three more levels. Well, isn't that a shame? <laughs> I wish there were something that we could do about that. Hmm. Um, yeah, so I'm calling these power tools because eventually I'm probably going to make chameleon tools as well. And those will be my utility tools. So we have power tools and utility tools. Anyways, so here we are in the mob grinder. I AFK'd here for a while the other day. And as you can see, stored up some mob essence, stored up some liquid XP. Originally, I had this lever up. So it was converting the mob essence into XP. So we didn't have any mob essence building up. But I also want to do some tests with the spawner up there today, so I figured we needed to have a backup of mob essence going on. I also think that we're totally safe down here, because even if a zombie gets up there, I don't think they can shift like shift through those uh, ethereal platforms, so we should be fine. Um, but anyways, so there's actually a backup. If you look down here, so there's no mob or mo buckets in here. That's because all of them are filled with mob essence, and they're in the other autonomous activator. Same if actually, if we look in this one, hang on. What mode are we in? Block. We want to be in block mode. Good thing I didn't actually accidentally do that. So same thing if we look in there. So basically all of the... Where did my bow go? I didn't drop that, did I? Hmm, hang on. <laughs> well, eh, it's, it's okay, it's okay. Anyways, um... Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Anyways, so, uh... Backup, mob essence, blah, 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 blah. Basically, we have some of this, so we can just come up to it and grab three levels. And hop back up here. Oh, he must have spawned in there. Okay. Well, that's something new. And we run back up here. I'm going to check up here really quick to make sure I didn't accidentally derp up and hit Q somewhere. Nope, doesn't look like I did. Did I... Yeah, I really didn't do anything with it. Hmm, that's weird. It's very weird. Okay. So now we can go back down to our arcane reconstructor room and grab in... Ah, there it is. Okay. Whew, I was worried. I didn't realize I'd done that. Now we put on efficiency 5. And we've got a pretty good shovel. Seriously, guy? Thorns 3. That's what you get, fool. So he didn't spawn in here. He must have fallen from up there. So, you know, that is a flaw in this design and I'll have to address that at some point. Okay, so that is quite enough enchanting and stuff for this episode. Let's go ahead and go back to the twilight. Well, I mean, I guess, who are we to say no to an extra Naga trophy? You know? <laughs> this is so fun. He can't do anything. This is a really kind of OP though, I gotta say. Whoops. Having trouble there, guy? Ah, nice. Okay, dude. Wow, did we just go up to level 13? That's actually a really good way of getting experience. Okay, anyways, back to searching for the things that we're looking for. <laughs> Check this out. Obsidian? Why, thank you. As soon as the lag catches up. Maybe. Can we do that again? Oh, okay, it's all down here. Hello? Can we not pick this up for some reason? Okay, Um. anyways, I was just thinking that this is kind of a cool way of gathering obsidian, these random obsidian pillar things in the twilight. Um, They're, they're kind of neat. So yeah, 33 obsidian just like that, so don't even really need a hammer. You know, from Tinker's Construct, we can just go oop, and grab all the obsidian we need to. So pretty cool, pretty cool. More over here. Anyways, yeah. <laughs> I'm, there's just going to be, honestly, I'll, I'll stop um, introing and outroing. There's just going to be a lot of little clips like this of me finding cool things to do and show you guys in the twilight. And hey, presto, Lich Tower. I actually, I think this is the same one that we found earlier. So, here's the plan. Uh, last time we couldn't defeat the guy because we were wearing this, and it automatically deflects projectiles for us so that we can't deflect them back at him. So, the plan is to take that off, 
once we get inside, which seems kind of dangerous, but I think it'll work out for us. Let's go ahead and hop down in here. Hey, guy. All right, and... Okay. Oh, whoa. So he has four shields. He still has four shields because that one blew up. Uh, that might be lag. Okay, when he shoots, the, he shoots red fireballs sometimes, and those I can't reflect at him. Okay, come on, guy. There we go, so that's another shield down, so now he only has three. He's going to shoot a fireball that time, so I don't want to be near that. Okay, fireball again, so we'll, whoops, we'll use the opportunity to eat some food. Now he's going to shoot a blue thingy. There we go, now he only has two. And another blue thingy. Now he only has one shield. Okay, this is surprisingly easy when I don't have the, uh, the one thing on. Okay, now he's now he's done. Now he's on a zombie summoning mood. Whoa. Whoa. Um, I might be able to put my thingy on now. Let's go ahead and do that, actually. There we go. Get some extra protection going on. Got him. Did any of his stuff fall down there? Oh, no. It's all over here. Okay. Sweet. Um, oh wow, we are, we're already full on stuff. Uh, tell you what, let's go ahead and open our, where is it, loot. So, slot six, there we go. And we can just uh, pop in the Naga Trophy. Ooh, gold, sharpness four, looting three, not, wow, that's, that's a pretty good sword. Um, protection four, I guess I'll keep this stuff, even though I'm, like, I'm never going to use it because I have better armor, but. Still just in case, right? And we got a staff, Scepter of the Twilight. Okay, I think that's the one that shoots Ender Pearls, so that's cool. Now I got scales, pop in some of this obsidian as well. And that's probably good enough for now. Ender Pearls we don't really need. Okay, cool. That is a Lich defeated. Now we've gotten all of the bosses for the for the Twilight, which is cool. Um, I'm still going to fight these as I come across them, but, you know, there's no reason to go out of our way to try to find them. But there's no reason to avoid them either because they're, they put up such a pathetic fight. <laughs> okay, anyways, back to searching for different stuff. We need to find that Minotaur dungeon and the cresting, questing ram at least, and hopefully some other stuff as well. Another lich? Why, you shouldn't have. Muchas gracias. And here's our spawner. Okay, now here we go. I'm thinking, since he's not a boss mob, I should be able to catch him. Oh! I did. What is he? Minishroom. Aha! Nice. And that also means that this room is now unguarded. So, loot shall be mine. What's in you? Oh, whoa. A little bit of a lag there. Uh, ironwood, steel leaf, maze wafers. Those are, I guess, rare? I'm not really sure. Um, Steel Leaf Helm. I'll take the Ironwood Ingots, of course. Is they're useful? I think we already looted this one, yes. And this one. More cool stuff. Awesome. Sweet. So, I think we're probably done in here. Next up, I do want to find a Questing Ram if I can. Now, here's the trick. The Questing Ram isn't technically a boss mob, so, theoretically, I should be able to catch him, and if I do, then that seems pretty OP. But we'll see here in a second. Ooh, that's not looking good. Try just right clicking on him. Oh no, they thought about that. Darn it. Er, but I wanted to take you back with me. Hmm. Yeah, it's not gonna work. Well, foo. So this guy, if you give him colored wool, 
he gives you other stuff. So I thought that maybe by like capturing him, we could clone him in the in the spawner from Mine Factory Reloaded. But apparently, you're just not gonna do that, are you, guy? No, he's not. Ah, fiddlesticks. Okay, well, that didn't work out. Still, there's more things that we can do, so I'm going to go around looking for some more stuff to capture. I've actually got most everything that I wanted, I think. Actually, yeah, I think I have everything that I wanted, except for the questing room. Oh, what else can I do about him? I'm not sure how to move him, actually, since I, don't, since I can't use this. Oh, uh, there's got to be a way. I'm sure there's a way. Anyways, I'll, I'll figure that out off camera. <gasps> did a bunny rabbit? Where'd he go? I didn't kill it, did I? I might have. Oh well, anyways. So I guess I'm going to go ahead and head back to the overworld. And uh, I'll see how much time we have left. We might be able to do some stuff. Or it might be the end of the episode. Not sure. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, we are back in the overworld. Let's see what this lich trophy looks like. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Huh, I wouldn't mind having a few more of those. Maybe, maybe we could put these in our infusion altar. Like, they probably wouldn't do anything to cancel out the flux, but they just look cool amongst all those other mob skulls. I should. T I'm gonna go get another one. Definitely, definitely. Um, but here, actually, I haven't gotten everything out yet. But here's all our loot from the Twilight Forest. Um, those are the important things. I guess this, this, and this, that. Take that as well. Oh, that's cool too. Um, anyways, so with this stuff, you can make armor. Um, with these, I don't think you can make anything. Let me see here. We're looking for maze wafer, I think. Yeah, so left clicking, right clicking, 
you can't make them and you can't make anything with them, so I'm not really sure what they're for. The maze map focus, however, you can make blank maze maps and uncrafting tables, which we have a few of those already, which is, those are really cool. Those allow you to, say, put um, probably something like this. And actually, you know what, let's test that out right now. Um, so we put down an uncrafting table. We grab ourselves some osmium boots, and they ha I think they have to have full durability. Oh, okay, maybe not. Maybe, let's see, what else do we have? Um, golden apple? Nine. What do we need nine of? I'm not really sure exactly how this works, but basically we could get back the apple in the gold. So that's pretty cool. Um, let me get this back. Thank you. So we've got those uncrafting tables, uh, hydro chops, the naga skills, the ironwood, and the steel leaf. Those are all used for making armor and things of that nature. You can actually, let's see here, uh, naga skills, they're already enchanted, some of these items when you make them. So like uh, fire protection and stuff like that. But the really cool thing is the fiery blood that we got from the hydra and I think from the ergas. Fiery blood. Um, from that, you can make fiery ingots, and from that, you can make different armor pieces, all with fiery or a fiery or a two, mind you. And I think that the highest enchant you can get normally is fiery or a one. Now, I could be wrong about that, but this could be cool to make one of these and get fiery or a two for my armor. As well, there's this pick with auto smelt, so that's pretty cool. Um, might do something with that eventually. Since I'm not really using Tinker's Construct at the moment, I might, you know, do some fire aura stuff, auto smelt. Um, but I think that's about it for what's in here. Armor shards, I actually haven't looked at those yet. Hang on, let me see here. Armor shard. From that you make a armor shard cluster. From that you make a night metal ingot. Ah, okay, and then you can make, ooh, I bet that armor looks really awesome. Knightly sword, knightly pick. Hmm. Yeah, I bet that's really cool. I should probably... Yeah, tell you what. I am going to make some of this and put it on an armor stand eventually because that probably looks pretty cool. But that's not really what we're here for. Uh, that was kind of a waste of time. <laughs> um, scepters of the, from the Lich. These things are cool. This allows us to have our zombie allies. This fires damaging interpearls. There's a lot more stuff in here, but we'll, we'll do all that next time, I think. What we really want to do is take these guys out. We can put this back in there for now. And I want to see how these all work in the auto spawner. But first, actually, tell you what, let's do this. Primal Staff, let's put our... Ta-da! I hope that thing is affected by light levels. I think it is. It should be... If it wasn't, then it would be spawning right now. Um, so now we have two spawners in here. This one gives us power, which, by the way, from all of that uh, <laughs> AFKing that I did... Wait, we're on block mode, right? Yeah. From all that AFKing that I did, this is now at... Oh, that's at full capacity, but then down here, some of these are at 18 hours of power. <laughs> 13 hours, yeah. So we're never going to run out of power, basically pretty funny okay anyways so first I guess let's try this out so close the door turn on the grinder and turn off the lights and there they go <laughs> can he see me through the glass it looked like he was trying to charge there for a second uh oh does the grinder not work on them oh 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 uh, oh, okay, it does. It does. All right, we're good. Whew, I was kind of concerned there for a second. Also, he's fighting these conveyor belts pretty effectively. Come on, grinder, do your work. I guess that guy might just be too close. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. So I guess he can see us through the glass, which is kind of interesting. Whoa, where are you? All right, so these guys give us raw meat, which I think we can cook into something cooked, which is good. Um, golden axe, which I guess we could deconstruct to get the gold back. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Now, 
what I want to try is, let's see, I guess we'll try this one. Spawn exact copy. We'll see if, if spawn exact copy no works. All right, so lights off, or door closed, lights on so that nothing else spawns, grinder on, spawner on. Okay, so this guy was the boss mob that we found, that the one that got us down to half a heart in one hit. Um, and I think he dropped some pretty cool stuff. Hey, guy. Haha. Uh... <laughs> so what did we get from that? Aha, this, this is it. Minotaur Axe, extra damage while charging. And we also got some <laughs> Meef Stroganoff. That sounds kind of disgusting. So what is this, if I hold right click? That doesn't do anything. I guess it means if you're sprinting, then you do more damage. So that's pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. Okay, um, we can turn off the spawner. <laughs> okay, and let's, I want to be careful, turn on the door. So there was that guy. Now we also have slime beetles, and this is basically going to be like, actually, that's exact copy, no, yeah. This is going to be our replacement for slimes, um, since I don't think we can get a slime spawner, we could just get a regular slime, or we could get these slime beetles, which are tons cooler, and they still give us slime balls. Right? Yeah. So now if we look in here, we got a slime ball. Sweet. Pretty cool. Um, spawner off. <laughs> Don't want to get too many of those, those guys in there. And door open. So then we have two other types of beetle. We have the pinch beetle. Who, I think this is the one that picks you up. Which is kind of cool. And then there's one more after that. So first we'll see this guy. Um, I guess I could, dim you know what, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll demonstrate. If they're kind of neat the way they work. Hello? It's doing that weird thing again. I'm not really sure what's causing that. I'll have to debug this for some reason, but it should be spawning. But it's not for some reason. And I'm not really sure why. Come on. I don't think it has something to do with the individual mobs, but the other ones did spawn fine. So it might be just this guy. Let's try the fire beetle. Or no. Fire beetle. So you can see this counts down. And then it reaches the bottom. Oh. And that worked. Didn't it? Hmm, maybe not. Anyways, okay, so I, I will have to do a little bit of debugging with this program, but that's pretty cool. We've got some awesome mobs from the Twilight, got some awesome stuff that we can do different cool things with. So I'm, I, the, all the stuff that we have in the chest upstairs, I'm going to work out what we want to do with that, and we'll probably actually do that next episode. Hey, guy. Okay, so that one worked. Turn off the spawner for now. <laughs> um, and he drops gunpowder. So he could kind of be a replacement for creepers, actually. Huh. Interesting. Okay, yeah. So anyways, that is going to be about it for the mobs this episode. Next time, I might go ahead and go back to the Twilight and get a few more trophies and stuff in between episodes. Maybe. Um, maybe get a few more of these things so that we can do some stuff with it. But next time, we'll be doing stuff with the transformation powder and the Naga scales and the fiery blood and... All that good stuff, and it'll be great. It'll be fun. So, anyways, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, then please hit the like button and consider subscribing. And I will see you guys in the next video.